Tonight, a young survivor of the deadly school shooting who saved some of his fellow students from certain death continues his own struggle to survive. Anthony Borges took five bullets and now he's back in intensive care. CBS 4's David Sada is live in Fort Lauderdale where this brave teenager's long recovery continues. David. They are actually being told that Borges is now in a medically induced coma after having emergency surgery. His family is saying that he's going to pull through. However, they're asking for prayers tonight. Anthony Borges is back in intensive care after doctors discovering an ulcer in his intestines. Borges' father posting on Facebook that his son was rushed into emergency surgery to remove part of his small intestine. The family attorney saying the young man is strong, but his body is suffering. And the body's taken a beating from all the medication and all the operations and everything. Classmates call Borges a hero. The day of the shooting, he used his body to block the door, preventing the shooter from entering and saving numerous lives. Borges was hit by five bullets from the gunman's high-powered rifle, shattering his legs, hips, and abdomen. I said, uh, kid, I, I really got, I got to ask you, man, because I'm really curious here. What, what possessed you to do that? And he looked at me like... What, what do you mean, what possessed me? I, I had to do it or it would get hurt. Since the shooting, Borges has had a number of visitors, including his teacher, who has asked for prayers for his speedy recovery. The community is responding to the mounting medical bills for him as well. His GoFundMe page raising more than $600,000 so far. Borges is not in the clear yet. Family says there is likely a few more surgeries coming later this week. Sure, a lot of people will be thinking about him this week. It's also worth noting that the Borch family is one of the first families of uh, the victims here to file an intent to sue the Broward County Sheriff's Office, the public school system, and also the FBI for negligence in what happened last month. We're live in Fort Lauderdale, David Sutter, CBS 4 News, tonight.